Hi, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Socrates. Today we're going to take a look at a handmade 3D printed gap cutter. Let's say you're making a handmade hand laid piece of track and you need to cut the tie gaps on your copper ties. You can file it by hand using a little tiny file and if you've seen the other videos I've made, I've done that. It takes a really long time and it's not very accurate and you end up with a pretty ugly looking product in my opinion. Or you can go to your 3D printer and design a gap cutter. And I made a gap cutter for the number fours and I made a gap, cumber, gap cutter for the number sixes. This is specifically for a number six three way using it to make a right hand turn. And yet it works the same as if it was designed specifically for just the one turnout. What I'm doing is I'm using the Fast Tracks ties. These are pre-cut at this point. I haven't started cutting mine from my own copper blank yet. I might, we'll see. And by putting that into the jig, you can line up the proper length and then snip it to length. And since the one end is, is clean, you can make sure that you have at least the one end is clean. And if you file the cut end to begin with, then you know you have two clean ends to work with. So I snipped it, flipped it the other direction, and put the other cut end clean end in the bottom for the next one. Found the one that it lined up the best with lengthwise, slipped it inside the hole, and snipped off the end to length to the to the cutter. Do this for each and every one of the various uh, ties, or I think there's nine ties on the turnout, the right hand turnout, and eventually you have the entire jig filled up with the proper length ties and hit it with a file and you just more or less zip off the top of the same and then you have to cut the individual ones themselves which is a little harder. Uh, I had one that was just the filing at once but the gapping is a much more important job and once they're lined in there you can use the triangle file to go ahead and cut through the gap and there's two gaps one is for the diverging rail which has two sets of gaps and the other one is for the straight rail that most of the ties have a, a gap for. And once you've got them lined in there, you basically just start to hold the device down against the table and hit it with a, a triangle file. Not too deep because you can cut all the way through the tie, but you want to cut through the first layer of copper into the fiberglass slightly. I clean it up with a little metal brush there, and then you've got a nice set of gapped ties. The problem, of course, is to line them up geometrically, they're not really lined up in the jig to the where they're going to go eventually so it makes it a little confusing to put them in the right place and also there's a little window on the back of them so you can use a, a screwdriver or something to push them forward it makes it a lot easier to get them out and once you have them out you want to hit them real quick with a little file to make it shiny on the one side before you put them in it makes it better for the solder joint so each one comes out zippity zip on the file and then stick them in I want to make sure uh, the two have a strange little center angle there that this was the, the reason I did this this is very hard to hand file this into the right place but with the jig it's just a question of which was the right orientation to put them in because I didn't really <laughs> double check it when I did it it was one or the other is one way or the, or the other and then one by one you pull out the ties and you can slip them in and as you can see they got a nice little gap in there it's nice and straight it's in the right place and it's nice and clean and you can check them for a short real fast using a, a multimeter. You set it to continuity and you put a probe on each half the gap and it should not make any noise. If it makes a noise and there's uh, electrical flow between the two halves across the gap and you don't have a real gap. And just like that you've got yourself a nice set of gap ties and you can go on to the next step which is soldering the rails onto those ties. So the tie gapper makes a very very difficult job much much easier. Make sure you end up with one for the right and left side turnouts and on the three-way they're completely different so I have to make another one for the left at the moment I just have one for the right which is what I'm about to try to build anyway. So I think uh, that was a real fun uh, fun day spent on SketchUp and printing and next I get to build the uh, turnout with it and it's so much easier with this kind of a little tool. So hope you enjoyed watching it and we'll see next time get some more stuff done. See you around soon.